So let's have a little bit of fun with this. What we'll do, it'll give me a chance to show you how to animate things in Beyond 3D. So what I did was click on Hedra. I chose Dodec to create a dodecahedron. If I click on the Rotate tool here, now you can see the rotation ability that we have in Beyond 3D. But let's take this a little bit of a step further. We'll click on Transform. And as you see, if I click and drag this upward, I can rotate about the Y axis. I'm going to right click on that. So now, one of the things that you'll notice is, at first it might look like a little bit of a mistake, but there's these little O's next to all these words. See these little O's here? What the O means is that that property you can animate over time. And how you animate a property over time, and here's the time slider, is you first set the time slider to the initial time that you want. In this case, we'll say frame number one. And I'm going to right click on this and say add a keyframe, because at frame number one, I want this to be zero. And now, let's say at frame number 100, what I want to have happen is this to go to 360 degrees. So I will once again right click and say add a keyframe. So one of the things you'll see here is that you see this nice little blue dot here and also at frame 100 another blue dot. That means that there's a keyframe there, that something is keyed, animated rather. And what we have animated is the rotation angle. So if as I move click and drag on this time slider, what you'll see is that the dodecahedron is now rotating and now we've created an animation. And so to send this to Beyond 3D, I will click here to, to render that in laser. Click here to send it to Beyond 3D. I'll turn off the laser output from within this program so we don't have double laser output. Minimize this and now here's the animation that we created in Beyond 3D. Now what makes this so cool is this. We can add additional effects to this. In this case let's add an oscillating rotation about Z. And what you can see now is that the rotation that we're imparting on this is really a whole lot more interesting even than what we created in Beyond 3D. Let's change this a little bit. We'll say we want it to start at 0 degrees and end at 360 degrees and that's pretty fast so let's say we want that to happen over let's set maybe 4 seconds. So that's a bit less frenetic and that looks pretty cool really. So once again, to just kind of go over that, what we do is we right click, say create a new 3D animation. In this case, I'm going to say file new. Click on Hedra. Within the Hedra itself, I say dodecahedron. Click on transform, because what we want to do is change the angle and then right click on this to add a keyframe come over here to the end time change the angle that we want 360 degrees right click add a keyframe and so there's our little animation and we render it out to the laser and send it to Beyond 3D so now while we're animating things let's take some animation to the next level. Come over here to basic and you'll notice that there's a little circle on color as well. So I can click on color and let's say we want it to start off red. I'll right click and say add a keyframe. Move to the end time here, 100 frames. Change the color to let's say blue. Right click, add a keyframe. So now we're animating not only the rotation angle, but also 
the color as well. Render that out to frames. Send it to beyond. Minimize. And there's our double animating scene.